Who just killed, what's it called? Somebody in Iran. Was it the Muslims? No. Was it the Muslims? No. So why aren't you speaking about the US? Why don't you speak about that? Why are you speaking about Palestine and Israel? Why don't you speak about the US? Why don't you speak about the US? Look at my eyes. Right, now what I'm saying to you is look at Jesus' life. Papa. Historically, look at his life. I'm going to give you from now till judgment day to tell me one thing he did wrong. From now till judgment day. From now till judgment day. Sorry. You've been destroyed many times by many brothers in the park. And you're still okay. This is the tab this is the tabloid no, dawa. No, tabloid dawa. No, refute me, bro. Refute me. If you fall into the hellfire as a Muslim, you do your sentence in hellfire and you get purified for the sins you've committed and then you get put into the, the into the Sorry, fountain. Repeat that last bit again. my lack of knowledge to God because I'm not judging you so do you agree yeah. that you will spend some time in hellfire God knows that I, I might do I might not I have no idea right. right. so what, what is the what is determining, is determining no, wait, I want to see where this is going. what is determining yeah. Yeah. whether you go into hellfire or not my actions and my deeds and my beliefs right so how would the angels recognize you to pull you out of the fire Damn, if, man, you're sinner, if you're a sinner, <laughs> yeah, if you're a sinner, yeah. if you're a bad Muslim, yeah, yeah. why would the angels pull you out of the fire? If I'm a sinner? Yeah. Because you had... Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe I was someone who was trying to improve... No, 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 no. Okay. If you're a sinner, yeah. you're staying in the fire. Why, why would I stay there? Why would they pull you out if you're a sinner? We're all sinners, mate. No, Have you, are listen you, to are my you, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a sinner, you yeah. got into the fire. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, why yeah. are the angels going to pull you out? They might pull me out because you've served your because, time. Because my good. Be careful how your eyes in the bush. You're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the fire I a physical you're a sinner. fire or you're a metaphorical sinner. fire? No, no. I think. It, so, I think okay. Now, I'm a Christian. Can I answer? Personally, personally, I think it's real. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Yeah, yeah, according to according to Muslim, I'm a Christian. According to Muslim, which I don't believe, according to Bukhari, I'm gonna go into the hellfire. So right? cannot be physical. Right. Yeah, I'll be a son of Adam. I'm not agreeing, I'm just right. 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 according right. to your See, people are yeah. hadith, right? their logic. Wait, wait brother, according understand. to your hadith, yeah. right? Yeah. Bro, 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 your hadith bro, bro. says say that the angels will recognize yeah. those physical, who have the mark of prostration in the fire. I won't have the mark of prostration. Yeah, you come back to life again, just like you right now. I'm still going to be in the fire according to your hadith. God brings you back to life. We agree. So now we have. I'm not agreeing. It is a physical. But the angels are not going to pull out Christians, are they? Because you're going to be just like you. That's what I'm saying. You're on camera, you're on camera. I don't care. Are the angels, angels, angels going to pull out no. Christians from the fire? Yeah. No, no, you're, you're trying to push me into yes. a corner and you're not so listening I, to anything no, I, I said. In the beginning, if we're on camera, he, yeah, he is saying... You, you brother, listen, don't make no sense. I'm just going to... Don't make no sense. You're trying really hard. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll respond now. I'll respond. You want to hear the response? Islamic response. Hold on, hold on. 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 Hold if you fall into the hellfire as a Muslim, you do your sentence in hellfire and you get purified for the sins you've committed and then you get put into the, the, into the fountain. Sorry, repeat that last bit again. Who is going to be purified? Only the Muslims that fall into hellfire. But the good Muslims? The good Muslims, not, the Muslims that don't go to hell are the Muslims that go directly to paradise. Have you got any evidence paradise. to back up what you're saying? It's in the Quran and the Hadith. Where? You can search it Where? up. Where? So he's got no evidence. <laughs> he's got no evidence, I'll right? Bring it now. So let I'll me read it the evidence. Read it now. I'll bring it now. I'll okay, bring it now. It's not a problem. It's absolute okay. nonsense. Let me read. Let me read the Hadith that I read again earlier. And and the the the, 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 the bad thing the bad I thing about it is this man is saying right right that everyone's got their own idea. Fair enough. But you see, when Jesus came here, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father this except through me. And Jesus. that's why we come here, to show people you may have your own idea of how to get to heaven, but there's only one way. Jesus said, I'm the door. He said, I'm, he said, I'm the gate. Jesus, if you don't Jesus lose me, never died for I'm the only way to go in through a window, I will consider you a thief and a robber. That's what Jesus said. But that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But they can't refute me. 
They can't refute me. I'm reading their sources. They can't refute me. He has to make things up, brother. Do you mind, do you mind if I... Right. Do you mind if I, I no, hold on. I so let me read the hadith again. Let me read the hadith again. Let me read the hadith again. Wait, brother. Wait, please. I've been waiting for a long time. The camera here, just for the benefit of the camera. Just for the benefit of the camera. Everyone's watching me. I've been waiting for you from the beginning. Yeah? And I haven't managed to... Let me read the hadith one more time. But you were linking that... For the sake of the camera. Bukhari 993532. The angels will recognize them in the fire. The angels will recognize them in the fire by the marks of prostration on their foreheads. For the fire will eat up all the human body except the mark caused by prostration. As Allah has forbidden the fire to eat up the mark of prostration. They will come out of the hell fire completely burned. Right? And when you quickly go to Sahih Muslim 135, just to add, it says, the fire will devour everything of the sons of Adam. Right. Are you done? Okay. So my point is yep. that every Muslim with a mark of prostration is going to go into the hellfire. I'm going to and then I'll give up. And I'm asking you to tell me if you're happy with this, bro. Are you happy that Muhammad said, no, I'm asking, wait for his answer. Are you happy that Muhammad said that when you die, you're going to go into hellfire, you're going to get burned, and you're going to devour everything of you except the mark of prostration, and the angels will pluck you up. And Paul Walton. I'm going to talk now. Yeah. You're not allowed to stop me until I'm done. Okay? I don't know if this was on camera or not. I do that. I do that. Just please, do that. Just yeah. do that. Just because do that. Because I've been really patient. Go on, go on. Go on. And in front of everyone, go on, go on. you tried to link that hadith in Bukhari to the verse in the Quran in Surah 19. Uh, Surah 19, chapter 71, which says in Arabic, in minkum illa wariduha kana ala rabbika hatman maqdiya. And I've been trying to tell you from the morning, like, from, since we started, yeah. where Rida her means pass by, right? It doesn't mean that all Muslims are going to go to Who's speaking there? In the Quran? Uh, the Quran is supposed to be no, no, Allah, please. believe it. Which no, you do believe I'm not here. I do. Wait and speak so, at the Quran. So, yeah, it is in the word. When you make an assertion, you always have to bring that, your evidence. That, who's so, speaking yeah. in the Hadith? I just are, you, are you new at the Quran? That, are you new here? That is a riwayah. Who's speaking there? Do you know what this means? Who's speaking in the Hadith? I just read. It's supposed to be the Prophet. It is a report. And you disagree with the Hadith? No, I'm not. I'm disagreeing with your... Do you agree with the Hadith? You ain't gonna know At the end of the day, you ain't gonna know every day, and that's how you go. You are linking that when you hadith come here and you make a 17, you better, you better make sure you've got the Quran. You can't link them, because they're, they're, they're not in the same context. One is saying you're gonna pass by hell, and the other one, then you jump and try and tell me that all Muslims are gonna go to hell. Okay, so can we do, let's deal with one at a time. How's that? Okay, how do you give that one So basically, you give that one. If we split them both apart, say we go to the Quran, and with your exegesis of 1971, say I agree with you. Do you mind if, if I, I agree with you, you. Bye -bye. if I agree with what you said, you will come, you will come through it, or you go over it. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Right. right. So I agree with you about the Quran. But I agree with you, bro. I agree that the link that you made is not correct. No, but I agree. I agree with your exegesis about the 1971 in the Quran. Right. Okay, I agree with you about that. No, no, but you can't link that up to Muslims going. To Let's use them separately then. Okay, so that means you. Let's use them separately. That means your initial premise was incorrect. No, let's use that. I'm doing it for your benefit. I don't no, believe no. so. I don't care whose right? benefit it is. Now let's go to what Muhammad said then. Deal with this. What Sorry, Muhammad I'm said. Gonna, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to Why is he running because, because of what Muhammad said? Yeah, yeah. One last, one last point. Why is he running because of what Muhammad said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, it's a lot of these guys. They studied the Quran, the Bible for so long, and now they want to prove what they've learned, uh, uh, learned in the uh, religious texts. You know, so when a person has studied it for so long. They feel compelled to come against another yeah. person for another faith and challenge their view. You what's know what your I mean? Faith? What's your faith? Every single religion there is on the planet. So it's ecumenical, <laughs> ecumenical, ecumenical. I don't know that word. Okay, what ecumenical means is like what the Pope is trying to do to draw every single religion into one world order. So he's saying, he's saying that every religion is okay. Yeah. You believe that? No. I don't agree with the Pope, I have my own view, I'm not the Pope. Okay, but do you believe that every religion is okay and they should okay. all come yeah. together and worship like, one God? No, what they should all have their individual religions have their own belief, but they should respect each other's religion. Right, so... Because we are all human beings on one earth. I respect your belief. This, this is a living being, this earth. I respect your belief. All manifested from this earth. So, does so that therefore, mean... this earth is full of diversity. Yeah. It's also live as one being. Right, so that means I shouldn't challenge you. You can challenge me if you there want. You but so I'm challenging you now, bro. I'm challenging you now. What I'm saying to you, if you're walking that direction and you want to get to Edgeware Road 
I, and I walk in that, and I walk in that, <laughs> and I walk in that direction, yeah. right? And I say to you, yo, bro, where are you going? And you say to me, if I want to walk that way, I'm going to walk that way, okay? Mm -hmm. Will you get the Edgeway Road? No. Yeah, but, oh, but it's, but it's, okay, but, hold on, hold on. It's your I choice. I have free will. You do. So I'm entitled to go that's the way right. that I want to go. That's exactly. right. And when I eventually get to Edgeware Road, that is a matter for me. <laughs> All right, no. Yeah, hold, on. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. Okay. Yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Edgeware Road is a real place. Heaven no, isn't. No, listen, bro. Listen, bro. If I say to you, today is the day to go Edgeware Road. <laughs> that's what the Bible says. Today is the day of salvation. Right? When you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your heart. Don't go gallivanting round there and say, I'll get there when I want. Because anything can hold on, Lord, anything, any, hold on, brother, hold on, bro. Let me finish my point. Anything can happen to you, bro. And as Christians, we care about people like you and you and you. Please don't care about me. It don't, it don't, it might not look so. It doesn't. It might not look so. But listen, if you see a brother running across the road and a bus coming, you see it. You're gonna drag that person by the collar and jerk him back. I don't think so. Uh, hold on, hold on. If you got any humanity. <laughs> Yeah. If you've got any humanity in you, that's what you're going to do. No. If you're a Satan, try, try you're going to laugh at him and watch him get run over. You're talking but about your you, own you, wait, 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 let me let you answer. When you jerk somebody back, it's not going to feel good, but you're going to save their life. It's not going to feel good, but you're going to save their life. And this is what the Bible says. But you the can't, what you're saying here the Bible says, is that you're trying to convince me of the Bible what says, you're saying. Yeah? You cannot convince anybody of what you're saying. That's what you're going to have to understand. Everybody has People free will and their own thought process. Every day of the week. Well, that's every day of the week. And who, who here is convinced? I'm convinced of what you're saying. I'm Hallelujah. Two, I'm three people. Hallelujah. But brother, would it, would it change the truth? Three people. Would it change the truth? Well, would it change the truth? Hey, yes, yes, yes. If no one was convinced. Hey, would, it change the truth? would it change the truth? I've heard him before. I've heard him before. I've heard him before. No, he's entitled to be convinced. But what what makes you right? right? But he doesn't understand the word. Con, right? right? Vince. He's been conned. What makes you right? <laughs> right. When, when you have, when you have a prophet sent by God, right? You have to determine in your own mind, was he from God or not? Don't matter what you think. Don't matter what you think, bro. It don't matter what I think. It matters if that prophet was from God or not. Because if he wasn't from God and he's telling you some nonsense, you're going to end up in hell. So what do you do? You have to check out his life and his behavior. You're very concerned with Hold on, hold on. You have to check out his life and his behavior. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah. He's very right? concerned with hell. Right? Right? Yeah? This is why Christians come here, bro. And we don't care whether we're liked they or not, because the Bible says we're going to be considered a field for the earth. We go through this to tell you. Don't matter, because they stoned the prophets, they stoned Stephen, and they, they ran Jesus out of many towns, right? And we're still here. Right, now what I'm saying to you is look at Jesus' life, brother. Historically, look at his life. Now, I'm going to give you from now till Judgment Day to tell me one thing he did wrong. From now till Judgment Day? From now till Judgment Day. So when is Judgment Day? No, don't change the subject. Right. <laughs> don't, don't change the subject, bro. The but you know what I'm saying? He knows what I'm saying. He knows what I'm saying. From now he knows what I'm saying. Day. He knows what I'm when saying. Is judgment day. Right. So that you means know you know when judgment day Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Now, this is a sincere man. Yeah, but right? Now, he hasn't hardened his heart. You're hardening your heart. No, I'll answer right? your question. Right? Now, I've, I've your said heart to you. Is very hard. Right? <laughs> your mouth now, what I'm saying to you. Brother, you're fighting in the flesh. You're fighting in the flesh. You're fighting. You're it's a spiritual, there with it's a spiritual, no a spiritual war. We battle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and a whole host of wickedness in high places. It's, it's what the Bible says. Right? So, brother, I'm, brother, this is what I'm saying. Fear of a lot of fear. Fear of a lot of fear. Fear of fear. So, listen to me, right? You look at Jesus' life. If you can, if Jesus says he is the most beautiful pattern of conduct. Him. I know what you Right, so talking. now you have to you have to look at his life and see if his life stands up to what he claims. Look at his life and see if it stands up to what he claims. Right? That's on the one side. Then you look at Muhammad. He he says he is the most beautiful pattern of conduct. Then you go and look at his life and see if he stands up to scrutiny. Leave Muhammad right? alone. Leave all the prophets right? alone. <laughs> this is, this is a, a, Which one comes out clean? They're all prophets. Leave them alone. Thank you. Perfect. Which one comes out clean? 
Can't answer. Which one comes out clean? You don't come out clean. Right. I just done my question. I'm washed by the blood of Jesus. I'm washed clean, bro. Washed clean by the blood I'm a, yes, if you wash in blood, have so you want to change the subject? Nonsense. Washing talking. in blood is not clean. So now you know <laughs> who is the most beautiful pattern of conduct. That is Satan. Yeah, you know. Yeah, no. blood is Satan. No. So on I don't need to say anything more than that. Yeah, but apart that, from telling you, Jesus said, so follow him. Follow him. Yes. Turn away from Islam, from the man that told you that went to his best friend. This man went to his best friend. Yeah, but that's a different conversation. But no, because I. I'm here, I'm here, to tell the truth. I want to show you, I want to show you, right? That how can a man, how can a man be the most beautiful pattern of conduct? Say I'm your best friend. If I'm your best friend and you've got a six year old child and I go and say to you, my God told me that I can take her. I agree with you. I don't, I, don't I don't believe it. And now we have a dawah, now we have dawah, punting Muhammad out. As the most beautiful pattern of conduct. The same man that went to his best friend and took his six year old daughter. Yeah, yeah, war. That's right. That's yeah. just one example. You see Shams who run away from the truth. Segregation. This is what this is. You see Muslims running away from the truth. Separation. You see men trying to fight me in the flesh. I'm not fighting you. You see people. You see people. You see men trying to fight me in the flesh. You see people trying to refute and mock, but they cannot refute what I'm saying. I'm not interested. Because I'm not, I'm not attacking. You're not interested, but you're here. I'm here because I've right. got nothing to do. I'm you're not here. working today, I might as well be here. You're here, brother, and I'm appealing to you to put away your pride. Right? Don't and pride. So, you don't have any pride. I suffer with pride sometimes. Do you suffer with pride? Everyone does. Everyone does. You see how you're not honest? I'm honest. And this is what Christ no calls you to do. To be honest with yourself. He wants you, know you to know. You he wants you to know. You know how you get over your pride? How? Look within yourself and be honest with yourself. That's how you get over your pride. People right. harboring on, lies are on, the ones walking go around go with on, pride. Go People on. that are harboring lies are the ones that suffer with being nervous. Lies? Nice. Yes. Right. If you're a liar, yeah. you're going to be a nervous person. Have you ever lied? Have I ever lied? No. <laughs> now you know I'm a liar. <laughs> See, this is the problem with humanity. The problem with humanity because every man, every man, I had the same problem. And I had to give it up. Every man wants to be impenetrable. And inwardly they know, every man knows they can't hack it. But they don't want the world to know, but Jesus knows. He knows he can't keep the Ten Commandments. He knows you can't. He knows. Jesus in your yard. He knows. <laughs> you said Jesus knows. He, that, you <laughs> that you can't help lying. That you can't help lusting. That you can't help stealing when he was younger. Maybe you don't steal now. That you can't help hating your brother in humanity. That you can't help coveting what your own brother has. He knows that you can't help that. But God commands you to keep the Ten Commandments. How are you going to get to heaven unless you keep God's command? You can't do it. And that's why, that's why God recognized our weakness and he sent his son to be our savior. Because in not keeping the Ten Commandments, we have put ourselves under condemnation. And the penalty of sin is death. And Jesus paid the price for us on the cross. He walked this earth sinless. He kept the Ten Commandments. So he's fighting me. Sinless. Brother, 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 I'm not, brother. It's a good fight, the Bible says. Don't take it personally. The Bible says fight the good fight, right? I don't, now, I don't, I don't fight now, so, so listen, listen. Jesus came and kept the commandments that we can't keep. God said, don't worry, God will come with vengeance and remove all ungodliness from the house of Jacob. Jesus came to walk the walk we couldn't walk, to keep the Ten Commandments that we couldn't keep, to take the penalty that we deserved on the cross, which only God could do. A man could not keep the Ten Commandments. Only God can do that. That's why we know Jesus is God. So why are you talking for? You can't keep it. What are you talking for? No, but by His grace, the Bible says... Why are you talking for? You can't keep the Ten Commandments. The Bible says, right, that we are justified by faith in Jesus. By His grace. By His grace. Grace is something you don't deserve. He gave us what we don't deserve, which is life. So why would he, why would he didn't give us what we do deserve, which is death. Why would he give someone something that they didn't deserve? So now we have life, even though we don't deserve it because we can't keep the Ten Commandments. All he asks of you is that you put your faith in him and him alone. That's all he asks. Not much, is it? Not much. You don't have to go do Hajj. 
You don't have to pray five times a day. You don't got to do this. You just have to you're follow him. You just yeah. have to. Fi I'm you're fighting fighter. every other religion except the true religion of you're Christianity. Only one little small man. Right? How are you gonna fight right? Right? every religion? God is in me. So you're 100 men in one? No. God is in me. I do God nothing is in myself. all living things. God is in me. God, God is in all right. living things. But he's not in you. How you know that? He's not in you because you're not saying. <laughs> oh. you, you, do you, you want an answer? Do you want an answer? You're fighting that. Do you want an answer? He knows. You want an answer? Huh? No, I don't. No. Right. There you go. <laughs> it's the insincerity of people because really they're not they're not ready to deal with their lives. Why do you dislike Muhammad? So now when they hear something, the Bible says the gospel convicts you of sin. I love the Bible. It is, it is offensive. I love the Bible. The gospel is an offense to people. I believe in the Bible because they don't want to be told <laughs> about their lives, which is insignificantly depraved. They don't want to be told. No, they want to be told. I love it's the Bible. all fine. I love the Torah. I love the Quran. But God I love, says. I love God said it's not I fine. I love all of them. <laughs> God said it's not fine. You are sinners and condemned in your sin unless you put your faith in Jesus Christ. Can you put your faith in Jesus. Leave the Muslims and you alone. will be saved. Muhammad was a false prophet. Leave Muhammad alone. And it's about time every Muslim woke up to that fact. I come here every week to prove it. Islam, I can't be here every week to prove it. Go, all the scholars, Islam. all the you scholars know, of Islam uh, will not come and debate me. Islam Why? I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I just got the truth. Sorry. You've been destroyed many times by many brothers in the park. Okay. This is the tab. This is the tabloid dawa. Tabloid dawa. No, refute me, bro. Refute me. Refute me. Maybe it's not. Don't give me no fuel. Maybe nothing. 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 Maybe it's not in my capacity to. Tell me why Muhammad burned people in their house. Maybe I, I don't have it. Why did Muhammad burn people refute. in their houses? Maybe, like I said to you, like right. I don't have it in my house. Not engaging. Two of you, but Shamsi and other than that, yeah, okay. Many times, well, and good, still for Sham, good for Shamsi because the, 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 the cameras the can pick up audience. how he was running bro, from me bro, all day. Bro, bro, you're Kufa, Jesus, Kufa, Jesus, you see that? Jesus, I'm a Kufa. Like Muslim. Am I Nedges? Jesus, am I filthy in body and soul according to your Quran? Of course not. Bro, you're 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 according to the Quran, you're filthy in body and soul. Your ego is you. Yeah, that's bro, what the Quran says. Ego, Maybe you your are. Ego is <laughs> and you are too, bro. No, 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 I'm not joining brother, you. You're, you're, no, you are too. Because you're not a Muslim. I'm in my own boat. Right? And my, I want everyone to realize. Muslim, Christian, I want everyone to realize. Buddhist, that is Hindus can all only get hatred. <laughs> only hatred. Like from, a, yeah. from, a, from a Muslim <laughs> reached seven years or nine years old. I'm not sure what that, the age is. That's it. You that's are taught to hate <laughs> Jews and Christians and to recite the Quran. Christians are our closest to us. In faith, bro. This is a lie. Alhamdulillah. What? It's a lie. Do you believe in the do, do you believe in it's the Antichrist? A lie. Do you believe in the Antichrist? Let me show you. Do you believe in the Antichrist, my brother? What Islam says about Jews and Christians. Bro, does this guy believe in the Antichrist? Yes or no? Let me of show you, you what Islam says about Jews and Christians. Don't run away. Do you believe away. in Moses? Don't run yeah, away. Yeah, my brother, same. Do I? I, I believe right. in Moses as well. But do you believe in Abraham? Do you, do you believe in Abraham? Sense. Yeah, I believe in Abraham. Peace be upon the Lord as well, my brother. I don't believe. Do you believe in Adam? I believe in Adam as well. That's right. So what are you fighting him for? Christians? I don't know, bro. I don't know. He's insane. Christians are the closest to us in faith. You know, it is. Come he has on, problems with individuals. Bro, of course. You know why? You know why? And then he, he, you know he's why? saying nah, the whole you know, religion is like that because the you know individuals. Why? You know why? You know? I think, I think, in, in his fitra, yeah, he knows that he's misguided. Bro. I think, I think, deep inside, he knows that he's misguided. You don't in fact. Jesus I, I think, I think, you of course not. Of course not. not. He doesn't die for us. I know all my days. This one. Why can't we all get along? Where are you going, bro? Exactly. Why can't we all get along? That's why we're here. Hey, Wait, whether you're Christian, yeah. that's it. We can't get along. We can't get along. Why can't we get along? Right. We've got more in common than you think. Now, we when, you to, bro, when you go to to Surah, Surah two sixty-two, verily those who believe are those who are Jews. Listen, listen. When Muhammad was being a politician, trying to get Jews and Christians on side in Mecca, he said, "Oh, Jews and Christians." They're all right. You're working for the Rockefeller. They're all right. This is what he said. Jews and Christians and Sabians, even Sabians who worship stars, whoever believes in Allah and the last day and do righteous deeds have their reward, right? With the Lord on them. Tell them what you're running. What you're running. Then after, after the Jews, after the Quraysh recognized him for the fake he was and turfed him out of Mecca, this is what he wrote about Jews and Christians. Surah 9, 28, all people believed. 
those toilet fears are utterly filthy. Filthy in body and soul. If you believe that you're on the truth, Sunan Abu Dawood, 41. If you believe that you're upon the hut and you believe that you are like bro, if you believe that you're on the hundred percent of truth, try to convince me, bro. Sahih Bukhari, fifty-nine. Try to convince five, me. Jesus seven, is a god from your point. Two, go on, one. Go on, go on. Oh, you try, who go on, believe, try, try. take not my enemies human, and your enemies a man, as a friends, a, a offering them your god. love, a man was god, yeah. even though a man was they have god, yeah. disbelieved in truth. The prohibition of taking Jews and Christians. Why do you hate someone's religion? Why are you obsessed with Islam? Why are you obsessed with Allah forbid. The believing servant from having Jews and Christians oh, as friends oh, because they are enemies of Islam, is it only Islam and his people. Or do you hate Hindus as well? Do you hate Hindus? Allah bro, curse bro, them. Bro, bro. Oh my in, God. In his, in his fitrah, I think now, he knows that he's This is what Allah says possible. about yeah. Jews That's and Christians. Like Islam, Apparently, Islam, we're so cursed. About it? Allah, now, if Allah anybody said, can show me where Allah or Muhammad or any of the Sahaba said that Jews and Christians are okay, I will listen. Your soul's crying out for guidance, bro. Your soul's crying out for guidance. Because the Bible do you hate, God so loved course, the whole yeah, world, do, he gave his own Do you hate Hindus bro, the same crying, way you hate Islam? I don't hate Muslims. Eyes, I hate Islam. Oh, 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 Islam. Islam. You hate Islam. Get it so right. Hate me. So hate me. Why do you hate Islam? No, wait, because it's a Jesus. false religion Jesus. dragging you down a pit. Okay. Why blind guy leading the blind. As a Christian, shouldn't you love? Come to the truth of Jesus. Who's committed the most killings in the last 150 years? Who is it? It was I Islam? It. No, it was the West no, that you probably hold so dear to your heart, my brother. Well, that you well, who just well, killed, what's it called? Somebody in Iran. Was it the Muslims? No. Was it the Muslims? No. So why are you it speaking the about the US? Why don't you so speak about Why are you speaking about Islam? Palestine? Why are you speaking about Palestine and Israel? Why don't you speak about world peace? Oh, look at my eyes. Oh, bro. love, take unity. Bro, there's fire in Instead my eyes right now, bro. Yeah. Exactly. Why, like, don't we speak about commonalities? why don't we why don't we why don't we speak about commonalities? Why are you why are you always telling me that? No, That's right. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, I like about the hate. Why? Why? Bro, let's bro, let's bro, speak about the prophets that we have heard of. Houses. Bro, bro you're not in Christianity. You're not in Christianity. Why yeah? did they burn do, people do you, do you in believe, their own houses? Do you believe, do you believe, alive because they wouldn't come to prayer. Okay. The best no of mankind. Before, before I started, before the best started, of mankind. All why the most merciful prophets, the, the, the most Islam. merciful, yeah, exactly. burning people because they couldn't be bothered to get up for prayer. Poor people tired in our morning. No, you no, are hating your heart, man. It's not the way of Christ. No, it's, not it's not the way of Christ. It's not the way of Christ. Why do you It's not the way of Christ. I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to you. Yeah, why? I'm going to speak to you. Yeah, yeah, you want an answer. You see my face. Yeah, it's a false religion. It's from the devil. In your opinion. It's an antichrist. Everything about Islam is antichrist. And I'll tell you why. Hold on, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Are you going to let me speak? No, I will, I will, I will. Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. The Bible says, Jesus came to die for the sins. The Bible says, Are you listening, brother? The Bible says, Jesus came to die for the sins of man, mankind. Not even engaging. I just said, let me grab this, but it's coming. Why are you hating your heart, man? Why are you going to hate in your heart? Why are you going to hate in your heart? Let's have respect. Let's have respect. Why don't you say Jesus? Jesus. Jesus. No, no, no. I don't want to shake my hand. See, see, I'm filthy. No, no. I said, I said, I said, bro. I said, no, no. You know what? I said, I said, I said, let's have respect. Hold peace. Hold peace. Come on, man. Let's have respect. I'm big man. I'm not going to hold you responsible for what you don't mean in your heart. Can I ask you? Do you have kids? Do you have kids? No. Would you teach your kids this Jesus of hate? Came to die. Oh, you asked me a question. Nah, he came man, to die for the sins of mankind. You're not trying to ask but that's your question. opinion, bro. He came to die for the sins of mankind. The Bible says he prophesied all the way through his life that he would die and be raised again on the third day. This is what happened. That's your opinion. Now, now, Christianity spread like wildfire because of that resurrection. Wait, wait, wait! Christianity was whipping the slaves. Christianity was whipping the slaves. Hundred years for six hundred years, and then from from Hagen, way before Christianity, the cave, there was Muslims from Hagen, way before Christianity, there were Muslims, demons, masquerading as an angel of light, gave him a chokehold, told him he was Gabriel and told him Jesus never died. That's why he's an antichrist. And Muslims, we had enough, we had, we had it for 500 now. years, finish we don't want it no more. We had enough, we don't want it, we don't want it. 500 years, we don't want it. And you still follow our slave master religion. That's why we still fuck up to this day. God bless you, bro. What are you talking about? God bless you, bro. 
I'm not doing it. 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 I'm not doing it.